today we continue our look at the most ridiculous persons of 2017 by looking at our next nominee, The Truth. I mean, do you remember facts? They were really good, weren't they? You know, they taught you things and every now and then it allowed you to get a right answer on eggheads. But uh, they could be really irritating when they were facts that you didn't like. Like how you've put on a bit of weight this year? Shut up! Anyway, this year we learnt to do things the Kellyanne Conway, and it really was the way of the con. Because she taught us that if you don't like the facts, then you can just find an alternative. It all began with Donald Trump saying that loads of people did turn up to his party, and then everybody pitched in. First off, Piers Morgan said that he was a feminist. Then Theresa May said that nothing had changed when she performed a massive U-turn. And then Labour said that they'd won the election. When in fact they are definitely in opposition. So in fact the only person you can really trust is me when I say that my diet is going really well. Stop lying to yourself, fatty. Oh, f get you, you fake news f <laughs> And just a reminder that you can vote for the most ridiculous person of the year in our poll via the link below.